what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you guys how to do a shadow kasha in blender in ev render engine i know that we have a shadow kasha here available in cycles render engine but we don't have none in render engine in ev and i will show you guys how to achieve a shadow in your composite scene in blender in ev all right guys so first thing i want to do now is to just click on a zero just to go to the camera view now when you click on just click on the render like so in render view now you see our scene only this object we are seeing in this scene so when you look here we have something like foreground here and when you click on it we have background and foreground so you need to understand how this works okay the fourth one you click on render let's render image All right, now when you just come to composite here, yeah? just press V to zoom out. Now we have our scene like this, and we don't really see what is going on with our movie clip here. Yeah? So let's come back to layout and just go to render settings here. Yeah? Now scroll down and click on film. Now click on this transparency. Okay, by doing this, we see our background here in render. So click here, render, and render image again. All right, now you are seeing that we have our background and also our 3D elements on it. All right, so when you come to composite here and look at this layout, we have background and we have foreground this background we need to separate this and also to achieve some shadow in it when you look at these passes we have available for us in this render we have image which is the rendered image out already and the alpha if you look at the alpha it's only the white value of it and when you check the depth we have the depth also i will i will still show you guys and how to achieve that in another tutorial but not now Okay, so let's go back to layout. All right, when you come back to layout, then go back to 3D view. All right, now we see that we have two passes here. We have foreground and the background. This is the layer. When you go to the background, we have this, all this available for us in the background as well. So when you check this foreground in the background, just untick that, you see that we have nothing appear here. And when you click on it again, we have everything available. And when you check this background, we have only the background off because this ground, which is the plane, is only available for us in this background here. Okay, so come back to foreground. All right, now we only need to make sure we have this foreground and also the background available. Okay, to do this, click on this object and we have this in foreground. So we need to disable this. In background just check and check this in background like so so when you go back to background now we need to we don't need to uncheck anything we just have to leave it as it is okay in this background we need to check the passes we have so when you click here go to render like so click on render and just click here now let's check the passes when you look you see this is render passes and we all we have now is combined so click on it then let's check the passes one by one so this is emission we only have we don't have anything emitting light here so that is black for now so when you check the environment check the shadow and all what we care about now is the shadow passes and you see right now that we have some shadows here in the shadow passes so we need to enable the shadow passes all right so go back to combine to see our view now when you scroll click here to the same settings now scroll down now in this passes here in this light part we need to enable the shadow passes so by enable this shadow passes now we can compose this shadow in our scene all right by doing that now let's go back to the foreground click here go back to foreground and we have only this available in foreground so go back to solid view which is the 3d view all right so we need to render this once again just click here 
and click render all right now we have this and go to the composite now this is our this is where the magic will happen okay now this is our render on the start and all our sequence will did and this is the background and this is the foreground so we need to rearrange all this so for the background we only need the shadow and when you check this we have the shadow here you can see and let's disconnect this and for the foreground we need the image rendered okay what we will do now is to delete this for now just choose this alpha over then plug it direct to the composite and also to the viewer okay now after doing that just get the foreground rendered just connect this image input to the output down here in alpha over all right now we have our rendered scene like so so what we need to connect is the shadow and to do this just press shift a go to color now select mix node okay put the mix here before this all right then connect this shadow pass so the down connection right here now we have something rough going on so to get this effect just click on mix here then choose choose multiply okay now that we choose multiply now you can see that we have our shadow and we also have our same ready for us and you can when you unplug this now we have only the shadow part and when you press m so unmute that now we have our render part and this is how to do the shadow and you can also tweak the visibility of the shadow here by taking this mat this factor here just drag it back now we see less shadow here as you can see and drag it up again now we see more shadow this has to control the intensity of the shadow here and this is how to do this properly i think this is how to do it and i hope you understand this okay you just have to connect the shadow to the shadow to the to multiply it with the image and also connect this image here to the alpha over this is how to compose this and I hope you understand this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.